Hello guys and welcome to my channel. I am John and today I am reviewing Star Wars The Phantom Menace. It will be the first in a series of reviews I will do for the Star Wars movies before the release of The Rise of Skywalker. Star Wars The Phantom Menace is the first in the prequel trilogy of Star Wars films and is about this duo of Jedi named Qui-Gon Jinn and Obi-Wan Kenobi who are set out as ambassadors to negotiate a deal with the Trade Federation and release Naboo. Unfortunately that goes completely haywire. Now, I know the prequels get a lot of hate and stuff, but I don't typically tend to view them in the most negative way possible. Now, let's talk about what I like about this movie so far. First of all, there's the action scenes. Especially with the lightsaber fighting. And that they're obviously choreographed, but they're actually not that bad. They're actually quite entertaining. Some of the new characters I actually think are pretty interesting as well, especially Qui-Gon Jinn. Now granted, some of them we had known since at least the, A New Hope. But these are much younger versions of them. And of course Darth Maul is the most underrated villain in Star Wars history. The one character that's a bit of a mixed bag for me is Jar Jar Binks. And a lot of people hate him. And a lot of people love him. For me, he's just in the middle. Some of his antics I actually think are kind of funny, while others, not so much. The special effects are also a bit of a mixed bag for me. There are the traditional miniatures and models that I actually think are really good. Then there's the CGI, which range from good like the laser effects from the blasters and the lightsabers to really bad, like the creature effects. Now let's get on to the stuff I didn't like. First of all, the actor they chose for young Anakin Skywalker is really bad. I'm kind of ashamed to say that because he's from Indiana and I live in Indiana but he's just really bad in this film. The dialogue is really hammy and cheesy and of course Darth Maul his fate is just dumb. Okay, he was washed or boba fed or whatever term you want to use. Anyway, I'm going to give Star Wars The Phantom Menace an okay. It's not great at all. At the same time, I don't think it's a bad movie. I hope you enjoyed my first Star Wars review. There will be more coming soon. I'm going to review all of the main films except for the spin-offs like Rogue One and Solo. I'm going to save them for another time, but the main films I am going to focus on. Well, that's all I have for now. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all later.